just i want to say i want to say to all the people we should have the desire if you are having the desire in christ jesus our god will fulfill all your desire praise the lord all your desire our god will fulfill this is our god i want to say the in the bible book of luke chapter 19 there's some character named called sakius praise the lord he was having the desire to see jesus christ he was a tax collector he was a um, uh, uh, that one tax collector bible says jesus entered the jericho and was passing through a man was there by the name sakius he was a cheap tax collector and was wealthy man he wanted to see who jesus was but because he was short he could not see over the crowd so he ran ahead and climbed a, a tree fig tree to see him since jesus was coming that way praise the lord whatever he could able to do he was doing according what was happened that time you can see that in verse 5 bible says when jesus reached the spot where that uh, person was he looked up and said to him sakius come down immediately i must say at your house today so he came down at once and welcomed him gladly verse 7 bible says all the people saw this and began to say something he has gone to the guest of a sinner but sakius stood up and said to the lord look lord here and now i give half of my possessions to the poor and if i have cheated anybody out of anything i will pay back four times in the amount Jesus said to him today salvation has come to this house because this man too is a son of abraham for the son of man come to seek and to save is the lost today i want to say to all the people praise the lord the sakius he was a chief tax collector because he was he was his you know what was his character he was a sinful person he was cheating all the people he was taking lots of money from the people but when he came to know jesus christ jesus christ didn't said anything to him but when he came to know jesus christ the love of god it was moving to his heart because of this reason that tax collector he was saying a oh lord he himself came to know jesus is a lord how it came like that how it happened like that how how did he come to know jesus is the lord because this is a revelation the spirit of god gave him the revelation praise the lord hallelujah in the bible we can see some other people they could they were received the revelation the blind person he was asking lord the leper he was asking lord have mercy on me even if you are the sinful person when you are meeting jesus christ our god will give the revelation this is a god this is not a normal person this tax collector he was having only one desire i want to see jesus christ when he came to know jesus christ he himself came to know the love of god he himself came to know the habit of jesus christ what was a habit the habit of jesus christ the nature of jesus christ is Jesus Christ came to this world to save the life to the lost to the sinner in other words the people those who are seeking Jesus Christ you will never get perished our god will change your territory our god will change your life our god will take away all the sinful life from you our god can get you his glory in you this is what our god is doing still today to everybody today i want to say to all the people if you are coming to know jesus christ is lord and savior today you know you will be happy the bad habits last the 10 years maybe you are born itself maybe you are born again person after that you will be having some bad habits you yourself cannot able to 
leave your bad habits because you are living in this flesh. How you can leave your bad habits like smoking, the drinking, drug addicts, the lots of bad habits if you are having. How you can come out from all the situations? Only through Jesus Christ. Only through Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Jesus is a Christ as well as he is a savior. He is a redeemer. He can take away not only in your sinful life from you, but he can deliver you what all the situation which you are facing, which is coming against your life. Our God can deliver you from all these things. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So that each and every people forget it about your effort, your power, what you are doing today, and hand over all your effort, your weakness, your wisdom, your hand, your body, and everything, a surrender in front of Jesus Christ. If you are surrendering in front of Jesus Christ, our God will take over your tongue, our God will take over your hand, our God will use your body. Our God will take over your mind, your entire, what all the things which you are having, everything our God will take over. Through Jesus Christ, then you can walk by the presence of the Lord. In the Bible, there's a character named called Apostle Paul. He was prosecuted the church of God. He's my interested and favorite character, Apostle Paul. Apostle Paul, he was prosecuted the church of God. What happened? He was prosecuted the church of God. Lots of times, you know, that when lots of people, they were, um, they were facing lots of troubles because of Apostle Paul. Even if he was prosecuted the church of God, when he came to know Jesus Christ, that time he was receiving a turning point in his life. What was a turning point? The turning point, that means what all the things I have possessed till today in my life. What all the money I have earned today in my life, that is nothing compared to the glory, compared to the eternal life, compared to the life everlasting, which ever God kept for me before the foundation of the world. This is the way Apostle Paul was thinking. Today, I want to say to all the people, the people are watching online, our life is very short. Never look at any of the age, your age today. Maybe 80 years, maybe 90 years. Maybe 70 years you are thinking, I myself born again today. How I can do something for God? You know, Moses, when he was started his public state ministry, he was 80 years old. Our God has granted to Moses 40 years more to lead the children of Israel, to take out all the children of Israel from the land of Egypt to the promised land of Canaan. Our God has extended to Moses 40 years more. 120 years he could live in this world. Death and life is in the hands of the Lord. Never look at your personal life. Never estimate your life. Never limit yourself. You have to think it over that even power of the Lord. You have to always think it over how big is our God. This God can extend your life. This God can give you more life. This God can get you long life. Only thing, only one thing our God is looking at you and me today, whether you are having the desire in your heart to do something for God today. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So that I want to say, I want to say to all the people, when I start my public street ministry, only one thing, I was having lots of desire, only one desire, lots of desire, only one desire. God, I came to know you are the Lord. I was in the point of the death. This is a new life you gave to me because the reason I born again. Now I want to live for you. This is what I was asking to the Lord. When I start my state ministry, lots of people, they were ridiculing. Even the born again people, some pastors also, they are saying something against him. I was not at all worrying anything or any of these things. Because our God doesn't give any of the permission to anybody to contain him. Praise the Lord. If anybody is seeing accordingly, that means um, anything against anybody, that means okay, uh, that is not from God. They are not going walking by the Spirit of God. Praise the Lord. Our God is giving the permission for you and me to bless everybody. Praise the Lord. I was not looking at anybody. 2017, I started to pray this gospel in front of the world. This Jesus Christ is alive. This Jesus Christ is a living God. 
this Jesus Christ is a mighty Lord. This Jesus Christ is everything in my life. I start to praise the God again. That time I was not having any aware anything about much gospel. I was reading one chapter. I was preaching the gospel. Because of my desire to preach this gospel, 2018, I got pastoral ordination as a reverend. I'm not pastor, I'm the reverend. Pastor, that means Pentecost Church, that's correct. Reverend ordination, I got it. Equal to pastor. And uh, 2018, I got doctorate and uh, bishop ordination. This is no world position, but this is this we need when you're living in this world. By the law, uh, I got uh, this ordination. Now I am very glad to say this position is, this is not nothing, but main thing is preaching the gospel. But when you are doing the ministry level, this is very, very important. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Our God is leading me in each and every day. When I was reading the Bible, our God is giving the revelation. Our God is giving the vision to me. Our God is leading to me. Where should I go and preach the gospel? Where I should not preach the gospel? Each and every place our God is leading to me. Accordingly, I was preaching the gospel to the people. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Even today, I want to say to all the people, because of my little bit desire in Christ Jesus, even today, to my God is using me. Never give up your hope. This gospel revival, when the time of gospel in the lockdown started, 2020, we have started. March. Even today, to 745 days, I think so. Continuously, we were doing more than two years are over. Continuously, we were doing this gospel revival by the power of the Holy Spirit. In between, lots of people, they were saying, Pastor, why are you doing this work? Some people, they were saying, some pastors are saying, oh, how you are doing like that? I don't know how I am doing. I am doing this gospel revival by the presence of the Lord. Because love of God, I am doing this gospel revival. It's very easy for me to do it. I'm not wasting any time, my time. Carly, two hours I'm taking up preaching this gospel. It is not much time. How many times you are spending a day? How many times you are wasting a day every day? Comparing that time, this two hours time is nothing. This two hours time is precious time, which our God is giving to me to encourage each one of them, the world people. And now I'm looking at when I came to know Jesus Christ, when he started this, um, this gospel revival, how many number of people could be able to receive the healing? Praise the Lord. Today, I want to say to all the people, maybe you are doing the small things for God, but according to heaven, in heaven, you are doing such a greatest things. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Preach the gospel, even if you are sharing your testimony, even if this is a small thing, but that is not a small thing. That is such a biggest thing which you are doing for God. Each and every word of God is a powerful word of God. Each and every word of God, whichever you are saying, whatever you are saying, according to the Bible, that will that word of God can change somebody's life. Not for everybody's life. Everybody's life can change, but at least some people can, our God will touch somebody's heart. These are in the Bible. Um, the book of Acts, when you're reading, book of Acts, one of the lady called Lydia. I like the name of Lydia. Lydia's name is nice name. One um, lady's name called Lydia, Apostle Paul. He was preaching the gospel on the riverside. Praise the Lord. That time, one of the lady name called, her name was Lydia. Lydia could be able to hear this gospel. When Lydia could be able to hear this gospel, Lydia welcomed Apostle Paul to her house. Lydia, she, uh, she was not at all having any of the aware anything about Apostle Paul before. How she could be able to invite Apostle Paul to her house? Because the Spirit of God is revealed and touched Lydia's heart. Bible says, through that Lydia, our God, our God is using Apostle Paul to spread the gospel in the city. Praise the Lord. You know, when you are reading after that, you know, all the places you can read that one. After that, there was a great prosecution happened. Wherever the gospel was spreading, the greatest prosecution will happen that place. The following days, you can, you know, that one, when you're following chapter, following verses, when you're reading, Acts the Apostle chapter 16, we can see that one. Apostle Paul and Silas, they were in the prison because of their preaching the gospel. They were preaching the gospel because of this reason they were in the prison. 
But does it matter? Even if they were in the present, the power of the Lord, it was following them. The power of the Lord, it was covering Apostle Paul and Silas. The power of the Lord, it was the power of the Lord was covering all the uh, um, office, um, you know, the, the servant of the Lord. The power of the Lord was covered Apostle Paul and Silas wherever they were in the present. Because of this reason, they could be able to worship your Lord. The Spirit of God is leading Apostle Paul and Silas to worship. When the time of worship, the heaven opened. All the heaven door opened for Apostle Paul and Silas. The power of the Lord came down. And their foundation of the person, it got shaken. Finally, Apostle Paul and Silas could able to come out from the prison. All the present people could able to believe that Jesus Christ is the Lord and Savior. This is our Lord. Praise the Lord. This is my Lord. <laughs> Where our people are rejecting you because of gospel, our God will honor you. That's it. You know, uh, just I want to say my example, my story. Most of the cities, I'm preaching the gospel by myself. Small cities, wherever, whenever, wherever we are preaching, the lots of um, our God is touching lots of people's heart. For example, I was preaching in the um, uh, Derbyshire a couple of months before. That time, our God is touching lots of people. Lots of people could be able to receive the salvation. Even the, for example, the last couple of last Saturday, I was preaching one of the places called Gravison, the North Place. Small city, but nice place. Beautiful. I like that place. It's a beautiful place. I like the gravison. Where I sent lots of people, they were coming and coming and praying, um, asking for me for the prayer. I was praying for them. You know the, how many number of people came in front of me for the prayer. People, they were so much thirsty to receive the gospel. Nobody was preaching the gospel in the city. I was only preaching the gospel. I know that in future, again, I'll go to go that city. Lots of people, they call me, Pastor, please come again and preach the gospel again in the city. I will go out again and preach the gospel in the Gravison, Kent. I like the city. Small place. Very nice place. I believe in that place also, our God will raise up lots of ministers. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to say, never look at the size of the place. You have to look at Always, how big is our God? Even in small places, big places, our God will touch everybody's heart. I went to Manchester, big, big, very big city. People, they were hearing the gospel. But comparing the small cities, the biggest cities, people, uh, the, very rarely they were coming for the prayer. They were coming. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So that I want our God can do the miracle anytime, any moment. Only one thing our God is Required from you, you should have the desire in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. <laughs> so that, okay. I, I have a little bit desire to do something for God. So that <laughs> every day I'm doing something for God. Little bit things, by the Lord. Tomorrow I'm preaching some other city. Couple of cities. Friday. Um, also, I'm doing the home visit. Praise the Lord. Saturday also we are preaching. Every day we are doing something for God. And the mid of this year onwards, I'm praying to the Lord to travel another country to preach the gospel. I want to go and preach the gospel in South Africa and USA and Bulgaria. These countries I got invitation to go and preach the gospel. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. These three countries I want to preach the gospel. So that whenever, whatever, whenever you are preaching this gospel, our God will be with you in all the days of your life. Bible says, book of Isaiah chapter 60, verse 2, Bible says, see the darkness covers in the earth. Wherever we are preaching the gospel, there was the darkness. When you are putting your feet in that place, there is a light because Bible says, Jesus Christ is the light of the world. That means Bible says, the Christ is in you, the hope of glory. This Christ is sitting in your heart because of this reason, wherever you are walking, you are holding this light in your heart. That means wherever you are touching that all the darkness, your feet, wherever you are touching your feet, that end of darkness, it will be moving away from the city. Because of you, 
because of only through you. Praise the Lord. Hari Kanti Madam Shai. Most of the people are thinking you are a normal class person. No. You are such a powerful person. Standing with the greatest power. Standing with the greatest authority. With the divine power. With the dominion power. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Devil is so much afraid of Pastor Jolly Lassar. My name is not Jolly Lassar, Jolly Peel. I would like to pay. My school name is Jolly Peel. I like the Jolly Peel. I want to take away Lassar. Lassar means, uh, my house name is Pulichamakath or Peel. L means Lassar, father name, Lassar. But Peel, I want uh, both names, Peel. So I will be putting Peel in the future. I like Peel. So everybody. So I want to say, um, wherever the devil is so much afraid of when the devil is seeing Pastor Jolly Peel. Because I'm calling the Bible, praise the Lord, preaching the gospel. Some cities, when I was preaching the gospel, I was feeling a little bit tired. It was in their dark, darkest people. There was not, no at all, or there was no response at all. Some cities, when I was preaching the gospel, even if there was no response, I was going against the city. Now the cities, lots of people are preaching. You know, Croydon, when I started to preach the gospel in 2018, I started to preach the gospel in Croydon city center. When I was preaching the gospel in the Croydon city center, nobody was preaching the gospel at the city. Only me was preaching the gospel. I could encourage the one of the pastors, my lady pastor's name called Pastor T.S. Matthew. T.S. Matthew's entire church. Around the 30, 35 church members, I could encourage that entire church. 2019, I think. When I was preaching, how this pastor and everybody came out, could able to come out? Because the Holy Spirit was touching this all the pastors when I was preaching the gospel. Now, when I'm going to the city, not only the crowd on wherever I was preaching the gospel before, that it is nowadays. Lots of people are um, witnessing our God because you know that one, we put our seed, we sow the seed. The seed will grow one day at the today, tomorrow, at the after tomorrow. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Each and every words, whatever you are doing, each and every gospel work, whatever you are doing by your heart or by your effort, you are not at all doing by yourself. You are doing by the power of the Holy Spirit. There will be a result in that. Praise the Lord. Bible says, see the dark book of Isaiah chapter 60, verses 2. See the darkness covers in the earth and the thick darkness is over the peoples. But the Lord rises upon you and his glory appears of you. Bible says, does it matter how big is your situation? Does it matter what is your sickness today? Does it matter what is your depth today? Does it matter what is your circumstances which you are facing today? Does it matter maybe whether you have job or not today? Bible says, if our God rises on you, that means the divine power is coming to you. If the divine power of the Lord is coming to you, the extraordinary miracle our God can do in your life. Our God can break all the chains from you. You will be a well-known person in Christ Jesus because you are the seed of Abraham. Our God cannot deny you. You are worthy to stand in front of the Heavenly Father to receive all the blessing from the Lord. Because you are the child of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My blessed book of Isaiah chapter 60, uh, verse 3, Bible says, praise the Lord, nations will come to your light and kings to the brightness of your dawn. Praise the Lord. The nations, this is what, you know, <laughs> whenever I'm saying, I will say something about my testimony. Before I born again, praise the Lord. Before I born again, um, I was living in India. I was, I did my MBA, Master of Business Administration MBA from Bangalore. Praise the Lord. And I did the, my postgraduate diploma in computer application uh, from Bangalore, Christ College. So when I was in Bangalore, one of the, uh, after that I was doing business, one of the uh, person, one of the brother, he was um, uh, from Catholic background. He was getting the revelation. Praise the Lord. He was saying, Pastor, you will preach the gospel in the synagogue. He was saying like that. He was prophesying about me. First, I was looking at the... Well, you, he was saying... And he was not saying first. That time I was brother. I don't know anything about ABCD. I was praying to the Mother Mary. I was praying to the statues. I was praying to the heaven. Now, statues. I kneeled down and, and holding my hand like that. See, holding my hand like that in front of the statues. Help me, save me like that. The statue doesn't know what we are praying. Praise the Lord. <laughs> 
this statue everything is made may you know that are created by our own hand pray the lord by the clay by the wooden piece and everything this statue need our help now i came came to know this statue need our help pray the lord but i was praying to the lord lord uh, help to me i don't know anything pray the lord that time when i have seek the desire always to pray to the lord i don't know how to pray there is some prayer by heart prayer i was reading in the catholic church they were giving some by heart prayer and by heart prayer in i to read and pray in the prayer book is said we have to read and pray according praise the lord there is no any other prayer from our heart i was praying continuously prayer by heart by heart prayer how many number of times i was praying my god i don't praise the lord <laughs> anyway praise the lord pastor joel is in right track right now praise the lord hallelujah all the prophecy which our god was said to me in my life it was prophesied it was fulfilled only my little bit sad in my heart my mom and dad my father and mother they are no more they passed away they are not more in this world they are passed away uh, i believe they are sitting in the heaven they are enjoying my gospel work they are seeing praise the lord one day i will join with them in the heaven i will get a long life here after that will i'll join praise the lord hallelujah so um uh, bible says praise the lord um uh, nations will come to your light and kings to the brightness of your dawn that means if you are the children of god nations will come to know today at least some people can come to know and the pastor jolly lass how because i'm called to the bible 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 is a well known you know that one then uh, uh, book is a created that is the the jesus the presence of the lord is there in them that is god itself who are is holding this bible our god will never put a shame your face each and every people each and every day you our god will establish your territory you will get a victory to, from victory to victory in christ jesus when you are holding this bible praise the lord i want to say to all the people this god will never leave you nor forsake you this god will honor you the work which you are doing for god our god is always seeing the work which you are doing for god praise the lord hallelujah book of isaiah book of psalm chapter 66 verse 6 bible says he turned in the sea into the dry land they passed through the waters on the foot come let us rejoice in him this our god miracle is god's nature today some people are saying tomorrow what will i do nothing to worry give everything your life your desire your um, anxiety your worries your depressions everything to the hands of the lord this god will help you this god will establish you this god will do the miracle in your life this god will make your name great i'm saying according my yes because of, uh, i'm saying uh, my uh, testimony i was a rejected person broken hearted person where i was i was standing lots of enemies were standing surrounding by some lots of lots of enemy uh, years my enemies were they were trying to destroy my life but they were our god has destroyed them and still preach the gospel lots of enemy they were say the lie they were making my videos editing the videos they were hacking my facebook they were hacking my whatsapp sending the message behalf of me to everybody they were using making the false allegations and everything i was not saying anything against to anybody because i'm standing for god our god will help me praise the lord never look at this kind of people old people this kind of wicked people bible says if you are in christ jesus the wicked one cannot touch your body no weapon shall prosper no weapon shall formed against you shall prosper bible says, just i want to read one more time that one read the book of isaiah praise the lord book of isaiah chapter 54 um bible says book of isaiah chapter 54 verse 17 bible says no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper any of the situation which is coming against your life from your end is not to will happen one day the people will come to know they are wrong 
praise the Lord. Because our God will fight for you. Our God is your Lord. Our God will never leave you nor forsake you. Our God will never put your, uh, your face as This God will establish you. This God will make you your name great. This God will honor you. Because you are standing for God. Because of this reason, our God will stand for you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Bible says, book of Proverbs chapter 23, verse 18. Bible says, for surely there is a reward and your hope shall not be cut off. The people are doing for the gospel work, nothing to worry. Our God will establish you. Our God will make your great your territory. Our God will establish your boundary. Our God will establish your boundary. Boundary of your spiritual life, your physical life, your family life. Your employment areas, your all the territories, our God will establish you. Because you are the chosen one. You are the royal priesthood. You are, you are representing the heaven. Our God cannot deny you. Wherever you are walking, our God will say, yeah, I am you, here I am. You are my beloved son. Our God will testify. Our God will witness in front of everybody. Our God will honor you. Because you are called in this Bible. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Because when John chapter 15, what the Bible says, remain in me. If our God wants to do something in your life, what you have to do it? Bible says, remain in me as I also remain in you. No branch can bear fruit by itself. It must remain in the vine. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. You have to be in Christ Jesus. That's what Bible says. If you are, in Christ Jesus, if you are born again person, the Bible says you are rooted and planted in Christ Jesus. If you are rooted in Christ Jesus, each and every day you are, you know, that one, uh, you are getting the water from the God, from the heaven. Your spiritual water, spiritual, it is physically and financially, all the places you will be getting a world water, you will be a world water person from the heaven. In the Old Testament, as well as in the New Testament, all the characters in the Old Testament, Abraham, Jacob, and David, in the New Testament, all the disciples of Jesus Christ. They were serving the Lord. They were started to serve the Lord with their empty hand. Day by day, years and years later, they become, they themselves become a richest person. Spiritually and physically and financially, they were lacked nothing. Today, the people are watching online. You are thinking you have the heavy debts today. You are thinking you have court case today. You are thinking no people are static against you today. You are thinking you are saying or your family members because of Jesus Christ that they were making they are making the false allegation against you. Nothing to worry. Our God is only answer. Come back to the Lord. This God will give the protection. This God will make you great. In the Old Testament, the book of Daniel and Shadrach, Meshach, Abdenego, King David, praise the Lord. They were facing lots of troubles in their life. They were in the point of the death, but the presence of the Lord. They, when they were standing for God, our God was standing for them. They could be able to come out from all your prosecutions. Even today, too, I want to say to all the people, this God will honor you. This God will establish your life. This God will increase your territory. You cannot be failed. You are the winner. You are the successful person. Your sickness cannot destroy you. Your sickness cannot kill you. This, your sickness, it will go away from you. Because Bible says, praise the Lord. Bible, I would like to read that Bible verse one more time. Bible says, no weapon that is formed against you that shall prosper. That means all the demonic activities, it will go away from you. Praise the Lord. Again, Bible says, by his stripes, you are healed. Because of this reason, the devil cannot destroy your life. Let us pray. One minute. Let us raise our hand for prayer. One minute. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for thank you for this powerful word of God to the nations. Heavenly Father, uh, any other people need the prayer request? Praise the Lord. Please join with us. Please raise your hand. Our God will heal you. Our God wants to touch you today. Does it matter? Maybe you are alone. Yes, if our God is with you. Most of the places, places, Pastor Jolly was preaching the gospel by myself. Nobody was with me, but my God was with me. Because of this reason, lots of people, they were received the salvation. I don't know how many hundred thousand people have received the salvation. 
when I'm reaching the heaven, I know. Maybe you are alone today. You are out of your house today. You are the neglected person. You have lost something in your life. You have sickness today. You need the deliverance today. Join with me. I want to pray for it. Let us raise our hand. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I want to pray for all the people that people are watching online. Heavenly Father, I want to bless them, Father. Heavenly Father, any other people are suffering the sickness, body pain, neck pain, back pain, bone pain, arthritis, HIV positive and cancer. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, I pray. In Jesus' name, I bind, I cast out right now. I take authority over all the sickness right now. I bind, I cast out right now. Call right now from their body right now. In Jesus' name, I declare the healing right now. In Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, I pray for all the nations right now. Any of the people are watching all right, sick people, you can say amen and receive. The power of the Lord moved. You can do whatever you cannot do. You can do right now. You are healed right now. You are received the healing. Heavenly Father, and also I pray for all the people. The, I pray for the world peace right now. The people are watching your life. Bless them, Father. Keep them in glory. All the areas of the life, Father. Heavenly Father, all the places. Thank you for making the peaceful world. All the wars and everything. Let it go away from this world. Heavenly Father, thank you for your giving the protection to the children of God, to your children. Heavenly Father, I pray for all the people, those who are watching from UK, Europe, Africa, North or South America, and Asian countries. I pray for to all the nations, Father. Thank you for your raising of lots of ministers to these nations. Heavenly Father, I pray for all the people right now, Father. The people, those who are having to do something for you. The people are having the desire. Heavenly Father, thank you for your using them more and more at your kingdom. Heavenly Father, I pray for all to shake the nations team members, Father. Shake the nations who are supporting this ministry by prayer and seed. I bless them, Father. Give them glory. I pray for all the people those are doing this flight home, the people those are going to come in this flight home. I bless them, Father. Give them glory. Heavenly Father, I pray for Pastor David. Pastor everybody, those who join this group. Bless everybody, Father. More and more. In Jesus' name. Once again, more. I pray for everybody in Jesus' name. And also pray for me. In all of our desire, Heavenly Father, I'm giving in your hand. Thank you for your taking care of everything of my life. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. Prayer is so powerful. Okay. I'm praying from my heart. Because I know. I know. Because I have only one God. Praise the Lord. I can believe only God. I'm not depending on the world people. Only Jesus Christ. God will never leave me. No for sin. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But this God is a true God. First, Adi and David will be singing one or two songs and uh, do the closing prayer. Pastor, you are there. Hallelujah. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. Walking in the light of God. Oh, walk. Oh, walk, 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 walking in the light. Oh, walk, 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 walking in the light. Oh, walk, 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 walking in the light. Walking in the light of God. Oh, walk, oh, walk, 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 walking in the light. Oh, walk, 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 walking in the light. Oh, walk, 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 walking in the light. Walking in the light of God's God and army. Ho, oh, march it to the land. Deliverance is the song. Healing in the hands. 
everlasting joy, life forevermore. In this army, I got a part. In this army, I got a part. God, God, an army. God's God, an army. March it to the land. Deliverance is a song. Healing in the ends. Oh, everlasting joy, life forevermore. In this army, I got a part. In this army, I got the power. Hallelujah. What a privilege to be among God's army. End time army. Marching through the land with the songs of praise and victory in their hands. God has counted us worthy and has chosen Pastor Jolly to be among the end time ministers of the gospel. I pray for you tonight that this gospel of peace that you are being a messenger of. God will keep increasing you, empowering you to do more for God in the name of Jesus Christ. So they go from strength to strength. Everyone that appeared before God in Zion, because you are daily appearing before God in Zion, I pray for increase of strength, increase of grace. And of his grace, we have received grace for grace. Of the fullness of his grace, so he said, he said, the word became flesh and dwelt among us. And we beheld his glory as the glory of the only begotten son of the father, full of grace and truth. So, and of his grace, we have received grace for grace. Therefore, I pray for you tonight. That may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be on the increase in your life and ministry. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be abound towards you. Say, may the, the God of all grace say, abound towards you. Give every all sufficiency in all things. I pray for you today that you will never lack any good thing in your ministry in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for reapers, the angels that reap the harvest that they be sent for tonight and begin to bring souls into God's kingdom. As you engage with God daily, the reaper angels will work with you in reaping the harvest into the kingdom of God. Bible say the harvest is truly plenteous, but the laborers are few. So pray you now to the Lord of the harvest that he may send in laborers into his harvest. I pray tonight, God has found you as his laborer. Therefore, you shall bring in harvest into God's kingdom in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray tonight for the peace in the nation of Ukraine. So he makes war to Caesar. Unto the hands of the herder. We pray tonight for war to Caesar. Let every war in Ukraine come to an end right now. So if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray, seek my face, turn from their wicked ways, so I will hear from heaven and I will hear the land. Lord, we cry unto you tonight for peace in Ukraine. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. As we come back again tomorrow night, we pray that we shall return with testimony. Break through order of testimony, increase on every side in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Blessed be your name, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So, thank you very much. Thank you. May our God bless you. The name of the Father and the Son amen. and the Holy Spirit. Amen. May our God bless you more and more in Jesus' name. I pray. Amen. You understand? Amen. Amen. God bless you. Thank you. God bless you.